I'm Matt Evers, a professional skater and lover of winter sports. Now the highlight for anyone passionate about winter sports has to be the Winter Olympics. It is a 17-day, action-packed, adrenaline-fueled competition. But you don't have to be an Olympic hopeful to get a taste for the ice and snow. A quick skate at the local ice rink at Christmas time gets more popular every year. It's super fun, but incomparable to the technique and maneuvers of pro skaters. This rink in Maribel was part of the 1992 Winter Olympics in Albertville, but competitive figure skating goes back a lot further than that. Figure skating was one of the inaugural events at the first ever Winter Games in 1924. It actually featured as an event in two Summer Olympics prior to that, and remains one of the most entertaining and popular sports in the competition today. Skating has come a long way since the animal bone blades dating back as early as 3000 BC. Now, skates have steel edges that give the skater maximum control and speed. The figure skating boot is nothing like that of a hockey skate or a speed skate. It actually was designed after dance shoes and has been modified ever since. As you can see here on this tip of the blade, that's called the toe pick, and it's used for jumps and spins. If we have a look at the blade, you'll see that it's hollowed out into two separate edges, not like a kitchen knife. This is essential to execute the tricks, as skaters use both the outside and the inside edges. This jump is called a double toe loop. You use the toe pick to take off and land on the same backward outside edge. It's a double, as there are two mid-air revolutions. I get asked all the time what the most difficult trick to learn is, and I think for anybody starting off, it's just standing up. But for a competitive skater, it has to be a quadruple jump. I mean, can you imagine jumping up in the air, spinning around four times, and landing backwards on a kitchen knife on ice? Another common question is, do skaters get dizzy? And the short answer is yes. But your body learns how to adjust to it. And to get to a level to where you're able to perform 25 rotations pulling 1.5 Gs, takes years and years of practice. There are three figure skating styles in the Olympics, ice dancing, pair skating, and single skating, and they all demonstrate magnificent gliding skills. The reason people love ice dancing is that it's theatrical. You get to pick your own music, do your own choreography, and really tell a story. Plus, it's about the footwork. Pair skating, which is my personal favorite, is all about the overhead throws, the jumps, the spins, and then in single skating, well, it's just about you. Well, it goes without saying that I am a massive fan of the sport of figure skating. And to me, skating is the closest thing to flying. As a kid, and probably still today, all I ever wanted to be was Superman. So, this is probably going to be the closest I'm ever gonna get.